Well, so we're going to be doing a video here is going to be on uh, the aquascape that I'm creating for the for the new tank. Uh, it's it's been a lot of pissing around. Uh, I had a certain thing in mind when I did it, and of course things evolve, and it's not exactly like I originally had pictured. I, I'm actually liking it. I think it's going to be good. Uh, however, it's it's not the exact aquascape that I was going for. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. I just kind of put together a little bit of video here. Of course, I didn't drag it out. It was ongoing here. I, I tried to just put a little piece of everything I did on it. Give you guys an idea if you if anybody's wondering what it takes to put one together like that or if, if uh, you need ideas. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. All right, so basically what we got here is I'm just taking some larger rocks. I'm going to smack them with a hammer here, kind of break them up into the pieces that I need to create the aquascape that I'm doing. I'm also going to, you see all that dust and debris that's coming out of there, little fragments, that kind of thing. <clears throat> I'm going to be saving that uh, because I want to be able to use that in the actual, you know, all the areas that I got glued together, instead of buying different types of sand, whatnot, I want to be able to use it to get that all put back together. I'm just kind of trying to make them all pretty small because I have a certain idea here that I want to do. Uh, so I'm just trying to get them, basically by breaking them up like this, they're all kind of random. You never really know what you're going to get till it's all said and done. You can usually definitely find the piece that you want. And so by doing this, it, it gives me quite a bit of flexibility because what I have in mind is I'm, I'm going to do three different uh, sculptures, kind of, so to speak. I don't know if you want to call them sculptures. Uh, they're going to be, though, as you can see there, there's a bucket of that scraps right there that I just broke up. And then right next to it, that's all just kind of gravel and dust that was created from the scape itself. I'm collecting that as well because you'll see uh, in the video how I use that to cover up the joints that are, you know, the joints that I have in the tank, or not on the tank, excuse me, on the actual aquascape. Because we want to cover that up, uh, even though it would eventually grow over with coralline algae and whatnot over time. I, wa I want it to look like an actual rockscape to begin with. So I have the, the gravel that I have, the chunks. And then we're going to take into this here. Now you can see how there's dust all over the cement there and whatnot. This is basically just a, a chunk that I'm going to be building off of. I just I got three of these, but I just picked one to show you. I know some people think you need a saw or you need to buy some certain uh, flat cut rock or some kind of rock. Really, you don't. This rock is really, it's really porous and really brittle. You just take it on a, a rough surface like a cement here, rub it. You can see how it's flattening out nice. It's getting nice and level. Uh, so it, it, it works just fine. It takes uh, five minutes of your time at best. I mean, I don't even think this has took me five minutes, but... You can see how I have it flat now. You can see how it sits. Just perfect. Done. So I, I won't need to, you know, buy a saw or send it out, whatever the case is. On this here, the the this is what I'm going to be using. This is actually glue from the dollar store. It's a super glue gel. Uh, you can see the InstaFast uh, stuff that I'll be using after from the Instant Ocean there. But the super glue gel... Uh, Basically, super glue gel is super glue gel. I mean, if anybody tries to tell you different, just take a look at the ingredients. When you order that fancy glue online, or you buy the Gorilla glue like this one, uh, which, by the way, that bottle is hard and uh, it holds a lot of glue, but it's it's not very user friendly. It doesn't have the nice pour tip either. Basically, I would if I was you. Uh, well, obviously, you can see if it's me because I'm doing it here. I saved a ton of money. I bought buy, buy, or, you know, three packs from the dollar store. Each one of these were a dollar. I ended up using probably twice what I have here before the all three were said and done. And it may have cost a few dollars more than just buying a big bottle, but it was sure more convenient. And this here is the putty that I'm going to basically mix up and use to cover the glue joints to make everything strong. You'll see that here in the video as we go as well, because it, the, basically the... 
the glue will hold it together and put it in place, but it's it's not strong enough. I mean, if you're moving it around or handling it, or I think if you had it in the water for a while, I think it would eventually bust apart. But that stuff will definitely hold it together. Now take a look at the tip on this. You see the bigger tip on this bottle? It's It does squirt out a lot of glue if you need a lot of glue. Uh, but it's the bottle is hard. You can't hardly squeeze it without two hands. This here, nice small tip. You can get into any crack, crevice you need. Uh, easy squeeze aluminum you know, body. So it, it's just a better setup. Now here's that... Here's that rock that you just seen me grinding. I'm not doing all of them. I'm just kind of doing a sample of what I have. But you see how it's nice and flat there. That's how that's how it's going to sit actually up in the back of the glass on this one. You'll see because I'm gonna I'm gonna mount it to the back of the tank versus on the floor. But either way, with it being flat, it will make it so much nicer uh, to get this project accomplished. So basically, I'm gonna take it and set it here, and I and I got a certain idea of what I want to do for an aquascape. I'm going to just randomly pick these pieces out. If you can see they're broke into a point, if you, if you mess around with them enough, they kind of get to where they fit together. Like obviously that doesn't, uh, you know, but if you put it that way, it does. Then you find another one, uh, it might slide underneath it a little bit. You want them to fit together relatively the way you want them, you know, it, that way when you glue them, it stays together better and it's easier to work with. So each one of these joints that I'm pointing at here, they'll be all super glued and it'll be all super glued together. I'm going to be putting a structure on the on the front. This will be actually sticking out into the tank. Uh, it's just going to be not exactly like this, but I'm just giving you a demonstration here how it's going to be when it's done. You'll see it towards the end. Uh, these will all be glued together as well. Uh, so by putting these all on here, I can kind of create a structure that I feel as though is going to it's going to grow it look like it's growing basically off the back of the tank or just kind of out there and this is again a picture of that cheap dollar store glue you can see how the nice squeeze bottle there you can see how i can squirt it you know right in there nice little dots on there actually i'm using quite a heavy load because i want it to hold together as good as i can but this piece actually will just sit on there by gravity uh, basically let it dry because it's there's no reason to it. I mean, once I, it grows, I will get out uh, chunks of rock, kind of prop the pieces up so that they dry in place, that kind of thing. Uh, but I'm going to go down the line here, and I'll be gluing each and every one of these here. You can see I'm going to pull them back now. Be the same scenario. I'll just take some of that glue. Actually, I, I'm pretty generous with it because, you know, in the grand spectrum of things, the glue is not that expensive, and it's the key ingredient to this whole project. So... Uh, this one is super easy because it's going to be just laying flat, growing out, you know, like this. You can see how I have pieces that are kind of flat and grown together. I've kind of taken some time to find exactly the right ones that fit together so that they don't require a lot of, you know, prep to get them glued together and they accomplish what I want. Like these fit almost tight like they were made for that. So, you know, by doing this, it makes it really nice. Now, here's one that I have done. This is a different one than what we were looking at. But you can see these gray areas that I'm pointing to. These are all areas that were glued together. These are basically all chunks that I had glued together in pieces. And then once I glued them together, I took that hold fast putty that, that I showed you in that tube, mixed it up. You know, you just squish it in your fingers kind of thing. It activates, smeared it out over the joints, got it uh, filled in all the cracks and got it, you know, to, to where it holds together. Once that stuff dries, I'm telling you, that's stronger than the rock. If you threw that on the ground, those spots wouldn't break, but the rock would break. So uh, it's really, really strong stuff. I know that they make other stuff you can use to glue rocks together, but to me, this is like the cheapest and most handiest stuff you can get your hands on. It's just, you know, it dries quick. You mix it up in your finger, and, you know, just for the amount you need. There's not much mess. You can actually take your finger and smooth it. You know, you can see the bottom of this I flattened out on the sidewalk as well so we have that you know down there i'm just kind of giving you an idea you know how this all looks this is basically a finished piece aside from the the coating that i'm going to put on it to cover up those all those little putty spots because when i put it in my tank i don't want to see them putty spots i just want it to be finished looking but that's the 
that's one of the main center pieces that'll be in this tank. Here I'm going to show you that stuff I'm pointing to there. That's where I'll be putting the glue on. I, like I said, I kind of skipped around and I didn't show you all these, but here's some of that scrap from when I broke the pieces up. I actually went out and smacked a hammer on a few smaller chunks and broke them up too, so I had enough. I, I just wanted to have enough here to get it all done, but I'm going to smear some glue on here. I did try to use that uh, brush, but that wasn't a good idea, so it, it just ate up the brush. But you can see here with the end, if you just put it on, smear it around. Wherever you get that glue, once you put that rock on, that rock is going to stick to it. Just like, you know, super glue you get on your finger or whatever, there's like no getting rid of it. It's, it's like contact right now. It's the same scenario. So when you see this, wherever that glue was, tap it on a little bit, let it set. You know, you, it's a bit of a process because obviously you got different angles here and you got to smear glue on everything and twist and turn and, you know, pour rocks or pour the gravel or the, I guess, the dust. I don't know if you what you want to call it. It's just broken chunks of the actual rock itself. But you can see there in that picture that right where that is, as long as that sticks there, it's going to look like it's actually one rock, you know, and we'll have a better picture of that at the end. But here's, you know, kind of a close-up of what I did there for the video just to give you an idea the process. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's it's time-consuming. But if you want it to look right right away out of the box and you want to, you know, have it look, I guess, I don't know if you want to call it professional, you want to have it look good, this is the kind of thing you need to do. Here's that other spot I didn't show putting on the rocks, but that's that big flat spot on there that... Now here is the... The one that I was working on at the beginning, you know, I showed you how I had the piece coming off the top. And then this piece actually looks kind of weird. You look at it like, what has he got going on here? You know, this magnet, I'm actually going to take that magnet and I'm going to break that right there because it's sealed. And I want a sealed magnet for this and I don't have, uh, I mean, I have them here. So why order them? Just use them up. They're not being used anyways. It was a frag rack little clip, but I really haven't used it. But I'm going to glue that on the back of that big piece that I'm pointing at right there. So that when I stand it up and put it in the tank, it stays there. It's going to actually be long enough to sit on the bottom of the tank so there's not going to be any weight on it. But as you can see, I'm pointing to all the joints on these. There were, uh, this basically is more putty than rock. I mean, to get it, all these little pieces together like I wanted to do here, this was by far the most time consuming now this up here, that top one I'm pointing to, that one is actually not puttied yet. That one right there, you can see the super glue in the crack. Um, I left that one out here on purpose because I want to kind of show you that putty process that I used on each joint. It's not, it's not that bad to do, but it does take a little bit. Here's that that hold fast, uh, you know, live rock putty. Basically, if, if you've ever used it before or seen it, it's it's pretty straightforward. You just, the white stuff and the green stuff mix together, activate, and then it gets hard. So you just cut off how much you think you need. Uh, you take and you squish it together till it all turns gray. One thing about it is it does get really sticky, and I have found with using as much of this that if you take and wet your fingers a little bit, then it doesn't stick so bad, and it's uh, the water don't seem to affect the ability of it sticking later. Uh, it may take it a few seconds longer, but I like to rub it, you know, between my hands here, get it all mixed up good. It, it almost gets hot when you're mixing it up. Like it's, I don't know if it's because it's activating or just because of all the friction uh, that you're using when you mix it up. But once you get it all there, then I just take it and, you know, make it in the shape that I want. And then I'll put it right in the the actual area that was super glued because we're going to try to make this stronger. Now, when you put this in there, it is really sticky, and if you don't have wet fingers, it'll stick to your fingers, and it'll pull back out, and it'll be a nightmare. But you take your fingers and make them wet. You can smash that stuff in, smooth it out, you know, right up and down. As you can see, I'm doing here, it's it's fairly quick. I mean, there's a lot of joints, so it's still a lot of pissing around. There's no question about that. But if you, you know, if you got this far with it, I mean, why not try to make it strong and professional looking? And you gotta, you're gonna have to take it and, and go all the way around the piece, and just take note of the time that this is taking. It's a, you know, you're gonna have to devote a little bit of time to it because, 
you you go you want to get it smashed in there uh, to the point where it fills the gap and then also uh, overlaps enough onto the other two pieces that it bonds together and kind of creates one piece. You're not just trying to fill the piece, you're trying to actually, you know, get it to stick to the other two pieces as well. So once it dries, it's not going anywhere. And trust me, this stuff here, I, I'm pretty impressed with it. It is, it is strong stuff. But then you, you know, you just kind of got to flip around, and hold it. And I, I will tell you, especially this piece here with all the little pieces that I put in there, I spent a, a fair amount of time uh, you know, cause every once in a while I would break a chunk off and, you know, at first it was angering me, but a lot of times I found that if you break a piece off, it's almost easier to putty in those little pieces, let them dry and then glue that back to the main piece. And then you only have the one piece to worry about breaking. So, I mean, it, it's a, it's a give and take, but it's, it's a lot of messing around. It, it's, this is definitely something that I, you know, I guess I, I seen this done on the, I guess not this exact way, but I seen him, uh, what is it, uh, Ryan on that BRS. I'm sure you guys watch BRS if you watch me. Uh, and he he made that scape, and I thought, boy, that really looks cool. And so I, I figured I wanted to try it for this one. And I and I knew it would be a little bit of work, but uh, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, it, it's more work than a guy really thinks. Uh, it is rewarding. When it's all said and done, you'll see at the end here, uh, you know, when we get to the end of the video, you'll see how that works. But that's basically all I had to do for that. Now, this magnet, you can see, is all completely sealed. I just broke the tab off. So it's a it's a good, strong magnet. You know, you could make your own magnets, buy magnets, uh, however you want to do it. This just happened to be what I had laying around. But I'm going to glue that on there because I'm going to use that magnet to hold this to the back wall of the tank. And so... You know, basically, I'm going to put a heap and help and a glue on there because I want it to, I really want it to stick. I'm going to probably even fill in some of that gap in the center there, you know, after it's on, I'll probably squirt some under. Because I, I, I don't want it to come loose and fall off in the tank. I mean, I suppose I could always take it back out and glue it back on. But it's one of those things when you're, you know, making something like this, you just, by the time you're done, you just want to be done with it, you know. And that's kind of the, how I'm feeling about it. I mean, I, I, I spent, you know, hours on this here, uh, more time than I care to admit on trying to get even these little bits of footage here to the point where you could actually see what I'm doing. And uh, it was a good thing. I had a lot of joints to glue together and stuff because I, I had a heck of a time with it. But uh, hopefully this is helpful to somebody if they are wanting to do it. That's the opposite side right there. That's the one that'll be on the, you know, back on the outside. That's also sealed because it's actually going into the wall of the sump on the back. But here's a picture of the bottom side of it. You can see where I've already taken and glued and, and made it look like it's actually uh, one piece of a rock. You know, I've already got the joints all covered on the bottom. I did the bottom first because it was kind of handy just to flip it over, do the glue on the one side. But then once I get that done, now you'll see the top is not done. And I'm just going to show you here kind of as a demonstration on this one as well. Uh, just one leg of this, I'm going to put some glue on and, and show you how much of a change and how quick it changes. Because you can see I'm going to have to basically glue this entire piece. I mean, there's very little bit of it, you know, that doesn't have it. But once again, you can see... I continually use this cheap dollar store glue. I know people will tell you that that's good or bad, but it, if you look at the ingredients on the super glue gel, it's the same whether you buy it with a fancy fish name on it or whether you buy it just at the dollar store cheap. So uh, you can take it for what you want, uh, you know, argue with it, but it's really the true facts. Anybody that can read the ingredients can see that. You know, one... Uh, one person out there on a video will be sponsored by a certain glue or something and they'll tell you how this this is the stuff you have to have if you're gluing down frags or or maybe they like a certain company but the truth of it is it's super glue and it's a gel and it's all the same ingredients no matter what the label is anyways enough of that so you can see here that i'm uh, just smearing that glue around on this leg on all them little joints this part does take quite a bit of glue because of the fact that I have so much to glue. 
But here's the, the same stuff. I'm just going to take and put it in my hand so that I can fill my hand and then make it. I found out this works pretty good for it when you can get your hand around it. You know, rather than drizzling it on, this way I can kind of pack it on almost like I'm breading fish. If you've ever you breaded your own chicken strips or fish, you know, that kind of thing. And then you basically shake off the excess and you can see right there. Once that dries, that's already done. That's all there's to it. It looks natural. It looks like one piece. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of work, you know, getting all those seams filled and stuff. You know, it does take uh, well all three pieces together. I pest around quite a while with it. But here's one. You can see this one is all done. Just as I'm turning around, you don't see any of those seams. In my opinion, it looks uh, damn nice. Uh, I got, you know, the bottoms flat for sitting. That's going to actually sit right on the bottom of the tank just like that. You know, and then here's the... This one I don't think I... Well, this is the one that we just did. So this is the one here that's going to be on the back of the wall. And I'm, I'll show you here, I think. I don't know if I get it in the camera correctly. But the uh, it's going to be glued or... Yeah, see it's stuck right there. That's how it's going to stick on the back. And I'm going to stand it up. Hopefully I get it in the camera here right. Because it's going to be on the back wall. Standing on the two legs with that glued to the back and now this one also you can see this one i also put a magnet on the back because this one i'm also going to put on the back of the tank uh you can see the dust fall off when i slap the magnet on there but it's actually that big foot there it's going to kind of stand on that big foot i purposely made that foot there and that's how it's going to sit on the back of the tank so it'll actually have the weight on that big foot but the rest of it will be hanging in the air and here you can see now if you look i'm going to try to go around this a little bit See how that one's sitting on the big foot there, but it's stuck on the back wall. And then you have the, the main one in the middle. There's three separate units here, but they all look like they're combined. And then I have the one on the back wall, uh, the one that we just did mostly in the video. It, it'll be, I'm going to move them around a little different. They're not necessarily going to be in that position, but that way I figure I can get a little bit different heights. You know, if I'm adding corals or something like that, and I can get a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit different of a layout on here as to how it's going to look. Because the magnets are actually in that sump in the back back there. So that's why I wanted to make sure they were sealed on both sides. But otherwise, uh, those are the three pieces. That's really what I'm going to have for a skate. Well, I hope somebody got something out of that. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I you know, I hope you made it to this point here so you got to see the actual aquascape what how it's going to be looking in the tank you know as always like comment subscribe you know check below sometimes i put links below the videos to different things that are of interest uh you know if maybe they're not interested to you maybe they are check them out uh, as always we'll see you next time